What materials are required to store light? How to turn off the light? What good is storing light? The Chinese University of Science and Technology announced on April 25, 2021, that a scientific research team has accomplished a significant achievement in the field of optical quantum storage. Coherent light storage duration was successfully raised to one hour, a critical step in realizing the quantum disk. The major topic of today's movie is an overview of the field of optical quantum light storage and quantum U disk, and I'm going to describe all of them so that you can appreciate the magnitude of this achievement. Let's have a look at the topic we'll be discussing today. We're all familiar with light, such as sunshine, which is one of the most essential necessities for human living, and we're all aware that light propagation is all the motion we can observe. We all know that light propagation is all the movement we can see and feel, but we can't grasp the light in our hands, much alone keep the brilliant sunshine in a box so we can open it and enjoy it from time to time, but this is a bit scientific. To begin, it should be noted that light may be utilized for more than just illumination. It can also be used to transfer information, such as the traffic lights we frequently meet in our everyday lives or the fiber optic that we frequently use to access the Internet. Light may be a dynamic information medium since it is an electromagnetic wave, similar to the signal provided by our mobile phone. Light like the signals delivered by our mobile phones or radio waves received by the radio, may be used to transport information. Because photons are carriers of electromagnetic radiation, using light to transfer information for communication offers the advantages of being quick and steady. Not only that, but the most crucial attribute of quantum communication is its security when compared to regular communication techniques. Regular communication signals rely on electromagnetic waves to transport data. It is highly important in the transmission process. Even if a password is used, it will be compromised due to the single encryption mechanism. However, in the case of quantum communication, Due to the use of quantum superposition and the entanglement effect, this new communication method has super high security and cannot be eavesdropped or cracked, so quantum communication will be the primary mode of information transmission in the future. Quantum communication may be accomplished in two ways. The first is through a quantum network. The other is quantum U-disk, which we will discuss today. Why use quantum U-disk to transmit because the photons of recorded information are transmitted through optical fiber, and the loss is particularly severe. For example, if you want to transmit 100 kilometers, only 1% of the photons may be successfully transmitted through the fiber. Finally, when the transmission distance exceeds 500 kilometers, only one out of every 10 billion photons may eventually get through the fiber, therefore photon loss in the fiber propagation process grows exponentially. This means that traditional optical fiber cannot be used to achieve long-distance quantum communication. To solve this problem and achieve long-distance quantum communication technology, Scientists proposed a reliable carrier that can store optical signals for a long time, which is the quantum flash drive that we previously mentioned. In actuality, the quantum yuletide does not store photons, but rather changes their state into atoms and then stores them. In actuality, the quantum flash drive does not store photons, but rather transforms photon states into atoms and then preserves the atoms. To read the data, you'll need a particular gadget that transforms the atom states to the associated photons and then reads the data. As a result, the photons needed for reading and the photons stored are in two distinct states, and the first difficulty is determining how to separate them. The first issue is determining how to keep these two photon states as comparable as feasible during the conversion procedure. 
in order to fulfill the goal of storing data. We have already discussed the first issue of optical storage. Nevertheless, there is another obstacle. That is, the time requirements for optical storage are rather large. Scientists have developed quantum USB devices allowing data transfer over distances of tens or hundreds of kilometers, even from one nation to another. As a result, quantum USB drives must have a certain time consumption for optical storage from one jurisdiction to the next. The disk's time consumption must be specified. Before light storage time can be used in practical applications, the scientific community agrees that it must approach one hour. However, the speed of light is the fastest in the world. If you want to influence the speed of light, you must limit or even halt it in order to accomplish light storage. This is the ultimate objective of scientific investigation. Scientists discovered that as light passes through specific material over time, the speed of light slows owing to the impact of refraction. For example, the refraction of glass increases the speed of light to 200,000 km per second, yet this is insufficient. If you wish to maintain light, you must constantly create new medium. A team of Harvard University academics discovered a novel gene in 1999. In 1999, a team of Harvard University researchers discovered a novel medium that reduced the speed of light to 17 meters per second. Fourteen years later, a research group at the University of Darmstadt in Germany succeeded in employing praseodymium-doped lithium silicate crystals. The doped atremum silicate crystal was able to hold light for one minute. Within one minute, the idea of a quantum USB stick became a reality for the first time. However, we also stated that in order to realize the application of light storage, at least an hour is required, so one minute is far from sufficient. In this way, China has also launched on the difficult path to transform theory into reality, establishing its own optical Raman AP detection NMR spectrometer. The Chinese University of Science and Technology has succeeded in storing light for one hour. The phase storage fidelity of light was determined to be as high as 96.4% following continuous trials, one hour of light storage, and one hour of verification. Such results demonstrate that China has effectively improved light storage from one minute to one hour, producing a significant jump from the minute level to the hour level one hour, despite the fact that it only fits the fundamental demands of quantum U disk. However, further study is required. The Chinese research team will continue to optimize the storage efficiency of the signal-to-noise ratio in order to obtain novel results. How well do you know optical storage?